Hey everyone, welcome to a brand new feeding video. But first, as you can see, we have a molt. This is Claudia, my Brachypelma albopolosum, the Honduran curly hair. Just molted this morning. As you can see, the molt is in pretty excellent shape. So I haven't sexed it yet, but hopefully I'll get to that sometime today. So, Alright, let's get on to the feedings. Alright, since Wednesday my Acanthoscaria genicolata just molted as well. First up is going to be Aragog, my Grandma Stella Pulcher Peas. He's trying to go for it. With most dubias, I think it's going to be one of those standoffs of who moves first. And there he goes. He's always been a great eater for me, unless he's in pre-molt, so... Which he just molted a few weeks ago, so he's still good to go. There he goes. Alright, well, let's go on to the next one. Alright, next up is going to be Pandora, my Chromatopelma cyanopubescence, the green bottle blue. Instantaneous attack as always, because she eats like a damn tank. Almost time to rehouse her, so maybe another molt or two. Almost looks like she's trying to tap dance a little bit with it. And she's got her right in the head. Alright, well, let's go on to the next one. Okay, next up is Medusa, my Apolopus species, Columbia Large the pumpkin patch. Also freshly molted, so she should be hungry. I think a lot of my roaches are trying to play dead today. I know what day it is. Let's 
see, it's been about eight or nine days since she molted, so she should be ready to eat. She's still relatively small. And she's definitely been a bit more active than normal, so. movement from either one of them. Let's see if we can't prod it a little bit. Stuck to my tongs now. Get off my tong. There we go. Hopefully we'll get that attack now. So far as Feeding video is not off to a good start. Oh, holy crap, you blinked and you missed it. That was incredible. She's definitely got it. And Cleopatra, my Lassiodora Parahibon, is also in pre molt now. So we're not going to be feeding her this week. Seems like with the warmer temperatures now, everybody's starting to either go into pre molt or molt all at once. Which is kind of cool. It doesn't do so well for feeding videos, but you know, have our ups and downs. And let her enjoy her meal and we'll go on to the next one. Alright, next up is my Pamphibedius platyama, the Brazilian Pink Bloom Bird Eater, who as you can see in the back there is also molted, but it's been about nine days. She molted the same day as my pumpkin patch, so should be good to go. It definitely wants it. So this is her first feeding, so... At least this roach seems to be a little bit more active. In the meantime, let's see if we can... Oh, and there she goes. this molt out of here as well. Looks like she's got it at least. Can't tell if she's got it or if she's just sitting on it. Looks like she's just sitting on it for right now. Get some kind of attack from you today? Anything? I 
I know she wants it, but fact she's not gonna eat on camera for us. Alright, let's go on to the next one. Sure enough, as soon as I turn the camera off, she grabs it. That's cool, she's giving us some good fang action right now, so. She will definitely grow up into, to be a beauty, that's for sure. There she goes. Looks like doing the spider happy dance that they do when they eat. And there you get a gorgeous shot of that uh, tree-like design on their abdomen as slings. Alright, let's go on to the next one. Right, next up is Elvira, my Grandma Sola Pulchra, the Brazilian Black. Another great eater for me. And there she goes. Beginning to think that this one will never go into pre-molt. She eats all the time. I've had her for a few months now and she's never molted in my care. And I have no idea when her last molt was. And since she's not a hair flicker, I can't really judge by her abdomen, so... Alright, I guess we'll let her enjoy her meal. And I um, believe we only have one more left to feed because everyone else is either in pre-molt or is like my grandma Stella Rosea and doesn't want to eat ever. So, alright, let's go on to the last one. Alright, last up is Ripley, my Afona Palma Simani, the Costa Rican Zebra. And she hasn't eaten in about a month, but I know she's not in pre-mold, so hopefully she'll eat for us today. She acted like she wanted it. And you're gonna let it burrow, damn it. Why you gotta do that, huh? Why you gotta be difficult today? Guess she's not hungry again. 
or still rather. Sorry guys, looks like we're not going to get to see the big one eat, but as always, I'd like to thank you all for watching, liking, subscribing, sharing, whatever it is that you do that supports my videos, and we'll see you next time.